Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to store your own paint. So if you have leftover paint on your palette or if you're mixing a color that it, you don't necessarily have and you want to store it, well, you know, putting it in a glass jar isn't going to, you know, keep it fresh because eventually it'll oxidize, it'll harden and then um, you won't be able to use it. So what I suggest is these aluminum tubes. So basically they're paint tubes. I got these from Jackson's Art Supply Store. Um, you can find them online and they sell these aluminum tubes. So this is about a 14 ml capacity. So as you can see I've got my paint mixed up over here and it's very simple. All you've got to do is just get grab your palette knife and stuff it inside. Just make sure you've got a sort of, if you look inside, I don't know if you can see, there's a sort of line which is about three-fourth uh, the length of the tube and you sort of, you shouldn't go over this line because when you're sealing it, it'll be very difficult to do so. So you grab your paint and you just get it inside quick as you can, as neat as you can. You can try using a syringe, but really that's, it's going to be very messy if you do that. So palette knife is the best. So just get it inside, scrape the edges. And when you get to a point when it's like this, just sort of bang it firmly onto the side. Yep, you see it goes back down. Now I'd suggest using two palette knives because you're going to have paint on the sides and you don't want to waste any of that. So just neatly scrape it all off and then you can get it inside. Right, now as you can see, I've got a lot of paint on the sides uh, and it's going to be wasted if we just seal it up straight away. So get your palette knife and scrape the sides like that. You see, and you get all this paint and just neatly scrape it off and you can get it back inside fiddly yeah there you see now it's completely full up until this point the three-fourth mark and now we can seal it up all right now you want to grab some kitchen paper and just remove all the excess on the outside just and so just get it on your fingers Okay, and now let's just move this aside. Now what you're going to need is a pair of 
pliers so I've got two pliers here you don't need to you just need the one um, and I've got this because I don't have like um, some a really heavy metal object so a steel ruler would do so what you're going to do is above the the line where the paint ends just fold it like so and now get your steel ruler or something that's really flat and heavy and just sort of uh, you see it was too much so I've got all the paint seeped out so I'm going to take it put it back on the palette right let's try again nope nope it was too much too much paint all right now that it's nice and flat remove the excess paint and get your pliers and just sort of crimp the edges All right. And now we sort of take the ends and we want to twist it over. So this is really just trapping the air inside and, you know, making sure no air gets in from the crimped end yeah you can do this once if it's tight enough or you can go over and over I think we'll do one more Get it nice and tight. Wipe off the excess paint. And there you have it. And you can store your paint like this for ages. You see, you just twist it. You make a hole with the um, safety pins or something. And there you've got ready to use paint. Good as new. Okay, I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you did, then like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next YouTube. Bye-bye.